What's up Sim Racers, Larry TGR Sim here and today we are doing iRacing uh, Samsung Odyssey VR setup. So the Odyssey is very demanding. Uh, I would imagine if you have the HTC Vive Pro uh, you might want to watch this one as well. Uh, all in all, just from a quick note, um, if you have a Rift it's it's a uh, it's actually a little bit better experience on the Rift than it is the Odyssey, in my opinion. It's just basically because you can turn things up a little bit more, like shadows, or you can th turn things up a lot more, uh, like shadows, and um, and get a little bit better immersion factor uh, with it. Uh, although you do uh, lose a little bit of the clarity in the screen. Uh, with the Oculus Rift over the Odyssey. So it's a trade-off, of course. But anyway, I already have the uh, Rift settings already up on YouTube. Go check them out. Uh, the uh, iRacing one, you will want to go to, for your super sampling rather, let's talk about super sampling. For your super sampling, you're going to want to go to your documents, your iRacing folder. Uh, where are you at? Right there. Render DX11. Open it with WordPad or Notepad, whichever one you prefer. And then scroll down and then back her up until you get to open VR. Uh, real similar to what I was doing for the iRacing. Now, I am running iRacing uh, with the uh, Oculus Rift video uh, for iRacing, rather. Uh, on iRacing, on, uh, I'm sorry, on open VR here, I have a resolution of 140. It defaults at 130. And you know it's probably a um, uh, what do you call it? A uh, I can't really tell much of a difference uh, between 130 and 140. 140 looks just a tad richer looking to me, uh, but uh, 130 works fine. 140 works fine. 150 seems a little bit oversaturated to me. Uh, but I mean you can go all the way up to 2.0 if you're just in, in test sessions and stuff. And what it seems to do is in this case, it, one, if you have it on 100 right here, um, you're at one to one on the screen, and the air, all your uh, display for your menu system and stuff is is bigger actually. And then when you go down to like 130, 140, everything seems to be pushed further away from you, which then you would open up your menu system. Uh, your menu system would be small in iRacing. You'd have to bump it up from 100 percent to like 125 or 150 percent, right? To match this resolution scale as well so uh, super sampling doesn't seem to have a huge hit on FPS uh, if any actually it has no hit on FPS uh, is what I noticed uh, I mean I can put this down to 50 and it is grainy and, and, and blurry as can be on a full test session with 28 other cars and uh, you, you can't see very well at all obviously but the frame rates still got hit uh, depending on what I had in the menu system so uh, this is really just for cleaning up the background and iRacing is what I noticed uh, not necessarily for making everything pop even more I mean it's just it's taking the blur off uh, in the distance so with that said 140 seems to be a sweet spot for me uh, it may, may be uh, uh, full in me, full in my eyes, you know, at between 130 and 140, uh, but that's that's what I'm running. Uh, be sure to hit save, of course, and close out of it. Now let's go ahead and launch uh, test, test and track session, and I will go over a couple things here. Hopefully it will launch into <clears throat> OpenVR. Uh, you can also change that value from 1 to 0, I think. Uh, I showed it in the other... Um, video but where it doesn't ask you that question every time. Now I changed the resolution to full screen 3440 by 1440 uh, so hopefully it will update to that. We will see. Uh, and I'm also running this off of my SSD. I had a hard time with this uh, vi uh, sorry this Odyssey working sometimes it worked most of the time it gave me an error and uh, I couldn't get it to work so I would have to literally 
delete iRacing completely off my drive, uninstall it everywhere I found it, and then um, uh, reinitiate it and get it to working again. Well, when I did that through Steam, it worked until ever I did a, a, a computer reboot and then it stopped working. Uh, so now I just took it off of Steam, just went straight through the website. So if you're having that problem with it launching, giving you a, uh, a RAM error file, you might want to launch it through just you know, uh, take it off your system completely. Obviously, save your setups uh, as a backup, uh, so you don't have to refigure those up. But uh, for your cars, but um, change it uh, and just download it to any SSD you have, because obviously it boots up a lot quicker, as you see, um, and uh, it seems to work fine like this. So even with several computer reboots, it's still working now. So that's good. So maybe that's the problem. Maybe uh, Steam is the problem, uh, going through Steam, but when you just go through the website itself and load it up, it seems to work fine. And honestly, you really don't need Steam for it anyways. All right, so you will notice, since you're not doing it through Steam, um, of course, I have asynchronous and all this stuff turned off like normal because Samsung obviously has its own uh, asynchronous stuff going on. It will populate the menu here, iRacing DX11.exe at, at 1. I don't mess with this at all. I did it already in the INI file, but I was just showing it to you. Anyway, let's get into the settings. So, I'm going to put my headset on. Is it full screen? Yeah, it's full screen. Okay. So, what we've got here, what we have here is failure to communicate. No, just kidding. Anyway, uh, max frame rate, I got it all the way to max quality actually right now. Um, this is an interesting one here. The high, uh, you notice that the cars, the pit, event, grandstands, crowds, I leave off because uh, you, don't, you don't ever look at them anyway, so I leave them off. But I did test it with it on high and it didn't make a difference. I didn't see crowds on, say, Laguna Seca, uh, whether I had it on or not. So I don't know if that's just a race event thing or not. But anyway, I just leave it off. Objects on high, particles on low. It won't let you change it as you see to high unless you come over to shader quality and change this over to medium. And then it'll allow you to change it to high. Particle levels at high actually looks good and it doesn't hit your frame rate. I wouldn't imagine by itself, but by going to your shader quality medium definitely hits your frame rates. Also, you'll notice when you hit medium detail, it unlocks this render dynamic track data, which is nice. Uh, uh, it, you know, it shows the tire scrub in and all that stuff. However, with the Odyssey, you got to leave it all off. And actually, you don't even get the full benefit unless you go to high so you can see the little tire data, uh, you know, between the two, the marks on the track, and then, I'm sorry, the dynamic track data where you have like... Uh, objects flying over your hood and stuff you notice more on open wheel cars but anyway you have to leave it on low even when you go to medium the only advantage it gives you for medium uh, to turn on rather is particle levels up to medium and high uh, with it on medium your shader quality your guy your driver in the car looks very detailed uh, a sewn you, know, you see the stitching in the suit, suit and all that stuff so uh, but with it on low detail, your guy looks like crap. But that's just how it is here with the Odyssey. To keep a higher frame rate, uh, you're going to have to leave the shader quality off. Now, if you have a higher-end CPU, let me tell you my specs. I got a MSI um, 1080 Ti graphics card, which it doesn't seem to be hitting it at all uh, with, with even shader quality up on high I'm, I seem to be fine with that but I am CPU bound uh, so if you're like me I have a 40 it's in the description 43 47 30 or something like that anyway it's from the x79 motherboard platform which it was a high end it was the highest in GP, uh, CPU you can get at the time uh, but obviously it's tapped out in that uh, motherboard configuration so upgrades coming uh, eventually so anyway uh, with that said I, I think I probably would appeal to the masses as far as some people have you know just upgrading their video cards and getting by with their CPU 
for as long as they can. So maybe this, hopefully this will apply more to the masses anyway. Uh, but a lot of people say they have a hard time with frame rate dipping in and out, in and out. And I'm still experiencing the same thing. And uh, on this track here, in testing, uh, you can turn things up quite a bit and not have any problems. But uh, on other tracks, uh, uh, it, it can be a problem once they have a lot of detail. But anyway, go back here to, and you see my settings up. You can, of course, screenshot them. But <clears throat> interesting enough, uh, leaving these off, the pit objects off. Now, the pit objects are just the, you know, the stands next to you in the pit uh, and your little guys there. Uh, the detail isn't necessarily the detail in the clarity of them all. It's just how much more of it is on screen. Uh, so high detail, you see more of it on screen. So more of the pit pit objects in there. The event, that's more or less like, uh, is it turning with me? Let me see. Uh, I don't see it here, but you'll see the trucks out on track and stuff. Um, uh, the rigs, the iRacing rig and stuff like that out on track, uh, or not on track, I'm sorry, in the pit area. The event detail, think of like a uh, racing event you go to and you have more people or, or more uh, uh, vendors, rather, out there. So uh, you just got a little bit more objects. Grandstands, of course, obviously are grandstands. <clears throat> Doesn't matter if they're high, low, off. Uh, it it's, didn't seem to affect my frame rate at all in the Odyssey. It's, it's odd. Uh, Crowds I leave off. Objects. Objects are basically more the buildings around you on the track. I leave it on high. Uh, particles, it won't let you go above low anyway, so I leave it there. Uh, and then, uh, what is this? Headlights on low detail. Yeah, it won't let you go higher on that anyways. Uh, but I do leave it ticked off on here. Headlights on track and mirrors. That seems to help for me to identify other cars coming around you now keep in mind with these settings the other cars are not getting uh higher resolutions put to them and stuff they're basically just <laughs> uh lower end colors and stuff so uh but same says frame rate and we want to try to stay above 45 and stay in the 80 to 90 as much as possible these settings keep me from at times i will dip into the 45 asynchronous mode but it is just for a couple seconds and then it bumps right back out so this is about as good as i can get it all right so uh limit limit the uh <coughs> the ac the uh, uh your fps basically the counter uh 98 this is if you're on battery like a laptop 98 uh, anything above 90 is fine i, I would I'd just pick any arbitrary number you want vertical sync off Max render frames on one, uh, you don't need to mess with that unless you're running multiple GPUs. Then you can go to two uh, and match it basically to how many GPUs you're running. Um, <clears throat> let me see, uh, anastrophic filtering, this is actually a pretty good one. So this menu system in here looks great when it's on 16. When you put it to none, it looks like crap uh, is what I noticed on mine. Uh, but I don't notice a big effect out on track with this between um, none and 16 to be honest I mean it, it's it's it must be there right but it's very subtle and uh, so I don't so it didn't hurt frame rate so I bumped it up to 16 that was running 28 cars uh, at a, a pretty um, a VIR uh, I forgot the track it was I'll show you in a second um, but a yeah, very intensive track. All right, AA samples. This is basically your Jaggies. Um, oh, I also go back to anastropic filtering. The way it may not make a difference is it kind of deals with the edge of the track. Well, when you're running, you know, 90 frames per second anyway, and you're in a race, you're not really noticing the edge of the tracks anyway. And it does pertain to, say, your, um, your edge of your hood. Uh, edges at an angle, basically. Uh, so... That's probably why you don't notice a lot of them, uh, a lot of changes with it. Uh, it didn't seem to hurt any. So uh, the AA samples, this is of course like your, your well, it just went off screen, but the white lines, your white lines are, are get real jaggedy. Um, your outline of your track and stuff gets jaggedy. Uh, two, t two times would be minimal, but honestly, in this headset, at eight times, it's working great. Uh, so bump it up. 
uh, shadow maps, all that stuff is off. All of this is off because you have it on low detail. You just forget about it. It's not any, as soon as you go up in high detail, uh, shader quality high, higher. Uh, like I said before, medium or high, um, it really hits your FPS hard. So if you're running a, a, a higher end uh, CPU, the great news is, is it's CPU bound uh, for me. Uh, so if you have a higher end CPU like a 8700K i7. Uh, you should be able to pump this up to high. Uh, now you won't notice much difference between medium and high. I can't hardly tell a difference between the two. Uh, well, I'm sorry, you can tell a difference between the two because low and medium looks the same as far as your character. Not seeing stitching, not seeing the details in the gloves and the pants and stuff that he's wearing. Uh, that still just looks, medium looks just like uh, low. The only difference is it gives you higher end particle effects. <clears throat> Uh, but you know it also shades the outer areas and stuff which I don't really have it doesn't have much of an impact to me high detail brings everything in uh, your 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 shadows on your objects in your car your stitching on your uh, on your suit everything is just nice and detailed high looks badass uh, but anyway if you're running a 700 try try a uh, and, you know modern uh, day CPU try high detail you'll probably work it just fine if you go to high detail <clears throat> you're probably going to want to bump this down anastropic filter into none and uh, but the trade-off is is well worth it because it's uh, you don't honestly notice this enough uh, to matter uh, so that would be the trade-off uh, show drivers arms obviously in VR you want to see your drivers arms virtual mirror leave it off uh, <laughs> mistakenly leave it on every once in a while and I'm like dang why is my frame rate getting hit so hard well it's because of that it's trying to render everything that's behind you as well uh, so this is a huge hit you can literally just play with it when you're out on track on, uh, with other people and see that uh, when you have it on when you flick it on um, you know put it obviously to a toggle or something uh, to your button box or something but <clears throat> as soon as you flip it on frame rate gets hit so uh, within a couple seconds so I'll leave it off. Uh, just trust your mirrors. Uh, use your uh, reference uh, details. You know as far as how many how many seconds away the cars are from you, and of course use your side mirrors. Uh, and the, this was done with the McLaren earlier. So the rear view mirrors or the rear view mirrors that you have in some cars, like the Ferrari 488 and stuff, you may want to turn off that center one down. You know, max mirrors of three instead of having it at four. Uh, that way that one doesn't get display your rear view mirror out there doesn't get display because it does hit your frame rate um higher detail and mirrors leave it off it actually does save you some frame uh some fps right there uh the cars are still very identifiable uh with it off uh but when you turn on the headlights on track and mirrors click that on you see the lights on on the cars that uh to me is enough indication to identify hey you got somebody coming up behind you so far terrain that is uh, rendering stuff far away you don't need it in VIR or VIR VR uh, leave it off it does hit your frame rates really hard two pass tree filters I mean how good do you want the trees to look uh, I don't, <laughs> leave it off uh, that hits your frame rate try linear filtering you'll notice here that the current load current one 2217 there we go. Currently, 2100. It changed. Uh, shit. What was it? It's funny because when you have it on, it'll uh, when you first boot in, it'll give you the highest value, and then when you, as soon as you click this off, you see it go down. Anyway, it's only like uh, two MBs, uh, so it wasn't enough to matter. Anyways, uh, and this is hitting your RAM, your GPU RAM. Uh, you know, I got this is what six, twelve, eight. 8 gig of 1080 Ti, I forgot. Uh, I mean, obviously you can't even go that high on here. It'd be interesting if if they updated this to where you could go higher to tax your GPU more. Um, so, I mean, why have a new high-end video card uh, with all this extra RAM if you can't utilize it? Anyway, uh, video memory swap high-res cars. That's basically you want. That's recommended to be on. So as the cars get closer to you. They swap from their low res to higher res. Uh, you'll see it kind of in the pits and stuff uh, when you're just setting 
above the cars looking down and they'll, you'll see them swap in and out. It'll be a white color and then it'll change to their colors. But uh, 2048 car textures on, high numbering, that's just up to you. All right, so let's go to the testing and I'll show you some FPS here. Now you'll notice in this car, everything's white. So if you turn on your shadows and stuff, the roll bars and stuff, they look, they look silver. Hold on, let me turn off my... Uh, well, if I find it here... Where you at? That one. Turned off my transducers, basically. So you can hear me talk. Pay attention to FPS counter, just in case you can't hear me over the uh, in-game sound. But it's right here. Pay attention to that as I go out on track. Okay, so just in case you couldn't hear me on track, I just wanted you to pay attention to that FPS meter there. Um, move it here. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's go into another track session here real quick uh, with a live um, test session going on. It should be going to full screen now. And let's go race. So that's only 12 minutes. This is an hour. I don't know enough cars. Uh, 12 minutes is enough. Seven cars. Earlier I was testing it with 28 out of 30 cars. And uh, so it was obviously less cars on track. Is Your frame rates are going to be better. Uh, so, yeah. It doesn't seem to hurt with static buildings being out there. You know, turning on your environment and stuff. But... Uh, with cars moving at speed, it definitely makes a difference. Bear with me as it loads up. I'll put a little indication in the video where you can skip to the on-track stuff. Watch me get copyright for that. It does take longer to load up in the actual sessions, even though you have this on. If even if you are loaded iRacing on your SSD. Since you're going out to the wild, wild west of the web, it does take longer uh, to load no matter what. So, that is just how it is, folks. And I'm doing this in one take. Come on, baby.
hurry, hurry, hurry. Should be getting close. Throw my headset. I feel it. I feel it. There it is. Boom, just like that. Tell you what, she. So this is hitting the frame rate just here in the uh, menu system here. Let's see if it's pun pun punching up there. Yeah, it is. Huh. Yeah, my frame rate counter on the. Well, you can't see it because of the bar up there. But anyway, I can tell you it is hitting my CPU and GPU with the little telltale light that I have on here. Anyway, this is, I loaded that setting, this auto drama. This is a very intensive track. It doesn't matter if you have stands on or not on. Uh, no FPS change whatsoever on this track. It's just because it's got so many objects on it. But just so you see, everything's still set here. Uh, the same. No shenanigans. And let's go to practice. And it takes a second, and then now you can see my character is all blue. But pay attention to the FPS counter. You will see it dip in some sections, and then uh, climb back out in others as well. But it just doesn't matter if you're running super sampling of... 5.50 uh, or not it's just it's just how it is so I'm gonna be quiet just in case you can't hear me over the actual engine noises even though I turned them down let this guy going by oh well he spun on by Hitting CPU now. Back in the green. CPU getting hit. You get hit again. Anytime you see it, it dip down.
Alright. So just like you saw, now when you have the stands on and stuff, the only thing different uh, that's really different on this front straightaway is this right here, the blue seats, the grandstands there. I'm pointing to them, Liz, if you can see me pointing to them. That's VR for you. Anyway, those are the only thing that's uh, different that I see added in. The rest of the stuff is like, you know, little cars here and there. But uh, not a lot of people out on track, but the, what you saw on FPS is very indicative of what I uh, discovered even when I had a bunch of cars and we were uh, you know six seven deep uh, racing around on a track I was still seeing the same FPS drop in the same sections uh, no matter what settings I had uh, in there in this uh, system for super sampling so uh, for my testing this is about as best as you're gonna get as a solid uh, or getting close to being a solid uh, 80 to 90 FPS range for the Samsung Odyssey and our racing so hope you uh, enjoyed that it did take some while doing some testing uh, so you know empty your wallet and send it all to me no I'm just kidding I do this for fun anyway uh, anyway we'll see you next time on the track I'm out